Toward the end of the summer, we headed out for Connecticut. Started out in Trolley Crossing at one of the EDS apartments, but we moved all of our belongings up there, including the, the logs we got for free. It ended up costing us a couple hundred bucks, probably $150, $200 from Ross. And when they were building the new headquarters out on Forest Lane, and uh, we got a little house in Bristol, Connecticut, where Stanley Tools are made. It's about 40 miles from Hartford. I worked in East Hartford, just across the river. But uh, we moved out there, leased a brand new house. Our friends, the Kugels, rented a house a couple blocks from us. Pete was up there working on Etna Life contract, so they moved in a couple houses down from us. And some other EDSers, the drummers, Drummonds, sorry, moved in up at the end of the block on the corner. So, so we had a you know, we had some EDS company out there, and we went to to uh, backed up with the Kugels summer '74, and we went out to to Cape Cod, and did a little a little roaming around Massachusetts in that area, saw Plymouth Rock. Old Plymouth town itself, and in general just had a very nice time. So here we go. Let's check that footage out. Here's Lisa's seventh birthday in Dallas, about October 11th, and uh, I can still get in my leather sweater. Evidently, it didn't last much longer. Here's Lisa doing a little panning. Oops, we caught Marlene there. She's getting ready for the party, probably. There the girls are. They like to get their picture taken. Now we're up in Trolley Crossing. We've moved to Connecticut. Trolley Crossing were the EDS apartments. We lived there a couple of days until our furniture got there. And, and we moved into our new house out in Bristol, about 40 miles from Hartford. Kids are running up and down the stairs, getting ready to go trick or treating. And uh, one of the EDSs took about trick or treat there on Halloween, October 31st. They don't seem to be too unhappy with the move. So and there's the haul they made while they were trick or treating. A lot of candy. Couple of pretty happy campers there, it looks like. I don't know what that outfit Lynn has on is a, a clown or what? I'm not too sure. Hmm. Here's the backyard. The house is brand new, so there wasn't. Wasn't any sodden done yet. There wasn't any yard at all, really. They built all the houses at the same time on that block. We were in about the middle of the block. Kids didn't mind near the garages. Marlene backed into that one garage door one time, didn't you? Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, well. Backyard. <coughs> trusty old station wagon. They're pretty fair little houses. Three bedrooms, I think. We finished the basement. The guy brought in the sheetrock. We plopped it up, nailed it up ourselves. We didn't tape it, but at least we had kind of a finished basement. That's where I had my workshop down there. A little more room than we had in Texas. Kids are playing out front. No sidewalks yet. Marlene's unpacking. She had some longer hair then, Teeny. Yep. Front door was a split entry to come up into the main level and down into the basement. There's my old console record player from Montgomery Ward, still moving that around with us. 
kids are doing a little reading to each other, I guess, or they're playing a record, maybe. It's hard to tell. Yeah. Sitting in maybe mom they... and dad's old rocking chair. Yeah. You ended up refinishing that green, didn't you? Yep, it still is. Yeah. Here's our tape player, eight track tape player that threw the tape halfway across the room when it was finished. Eight track tapes didn't last too long. They must be playing music. They're snapping their fingers, or they yeah, were. Maybe that's what they're doing. They could have been playing music on a record player. There's Dino. He's he falls around and rests with him. Fuck that couch up in Fargo off old Arvid Benson, just like we got the refrigerator. We got quite a bit of furniture from Arvid. Kind of replaced that stuff we got from Nebraska Furniture Mart when we first got married. And I'm working on a Heath kit kid of some kind. Used to build a lot of those. Hated to see that company go out of business. Not sure why the scanner was doing that. Waiting on us right in there, but it doesn't last too long. I think the take up reel was jerking. But I figured it was some non-consequential footage. Still working on it, but I guess I changed my clothes there. Maybe I just got home from work. The EDS uniform, the white shirt, dark suit. I think you made that African, Mom, didn't you? Yes, I did. Yeah. I made a lot of Africans in those days. I think that might have been my frequency counter, judging from the board. IB1103, 180 megahertz frequency counter. That well, must be probably around Thanksgiving time. We're cutting open the turkey. There's neighbor Carlotta helping out. Probably had Thanksgiving dinner together. There's my land cruiser, Toyota Land Cruiser that I bought with a with a uh, bonus from the Vale project, I believe. Nice little Jeep, that one. A couple little girls riding along in the back seat there. There they are. Then and Lisa. Here we are closing in on Christmas. Again. A lot of Christmases in these reels. Here's our angel on top. Mom's helping decorate. But helping in quotes there. hanging up there. Respective ornaments. There's Tom Hill. Got got a little jug of whiskey there. Their place down Trolley Crossing that they were still living in froze over during the ice storm, so them and their two little girls came and came and moved into less for three or four days. Tom and I stayed at work most of the time. Now we're up to the 
present opening stage of Christmas. Oh, there, a little teddy bear. How about that? I don't know if we had a chimney in that house or not. Well, he hung the socks over there on the on the stereo set. It looks. Like. I don't think we did. Uh uh I don't recall anymore. We had them just about everywhere else. Not a girl then. And save your bows. Don't forget to save your bows. <laughs> oh, goodness. What could those things be, girls? Dino wants to know. Like a paint set. Yes, it does. I can see that too. One, two, three. That's a light, bright, some light, bright pegs or something. paint set. What do you think of that little dog? The dog says, I hope I don't end up getting painted. <laughs> Fill that basket up, girls. Winter hat and gloves. What's that, Lisa? Poor little Lisa's having a hell of a time there. Dino's got to keep an eye on everything. Another bear? Saucer sleds. It's what? Saucer sleds. Oh, those yeah. Those round saucers. Yeah, they use those across the street. We'll see that pretty quick. I've got those people's names over there, but they slid down the yard all the time. Them and the two little girls north of them. That little drumming kid, I think. Probably the boys, the Kuba boys. kind of a village or something. You probably can see that when we blow it up on the big TV. Country camper. Oh, Barbie doll stuff.
به این گیر نستم Yep, country camper. I don't know if they still have that or not. No, I have no idea. I don't, don't know. <laughs> She's boxing with you. Yeah, she is. You know, nail the camera. She's not careful. Go get him, Lee. There we are sitting around. Lee's got a yardstick doing something. There they are going down the neighbor's front lawn. Couple other kids going up to check, see if they'll let them slide down too, I guess. Next door to the left, over there is where George, George and I forget her name, lived and had two little girls. George, the maitre d' at one of the fanciest restaurants in Farmington. Birthday, she's six. Yep. 1974. February 74. You got the Thoman kids there, I think, and it's Karen Thoman. The Hill Girls. Yep, the Hill Girls is Mary Ann. Showing us a little leg. Here's Burke. All of us worked together down in Dallas, and we ended up on different accounts up in Hartford, which was a little strange, but we had a pretty good group of little girls there that played together a lot when they'd get the chance. All about the same age. There's that bottle of whiskey that Howard got from off of Ben Simon over there in the gun cabinet. It doesn't have any guns in it. I bought that off of Nielsen in Omaha just for, just because it looked good and I, he built it from scratch out of ash. So I thought, well, I'll, I'll just buy it off him, make him feel good. Threw it in the back of the station wagon and hauled it all the way down to Texas after a trip home one time. Been with us ever since, so I gave it away to my brother Tom. And he moved, I think, to one house to another in Norfolk and had a couple of guns in no case and I didn't have any guns back then so I gave it to him. Figured I'd never get any, any guns before but that's before I knew Dave Hamilton. That took care of the no guns business. Little girls are having themselves a party just truly really enjoying themselves eating cake Mom's catering to them. Mary Ann, I think. Yep. <laughs> Julie. 
And I was playing out in the backyard doing something. Couldn't tell you what. Digging for gold, maybe. Had a regular forest back there, good place to hang the ham antennas from. Here's my 67 Thunderbird. I ended up giving that to Brother Buck. He came out in a truck with a friend of his and picked it up to the back to Norfolk, Nebraska. Lisa's That's, First Communion. Yep. Lisa's First Communion right there in Connecticut. I don't remember the name of the church. I don't either. She looks so cute, all dressed up like a nun. Wish I was a lip reader. We're sitting around with the cools, drinking, I suppose, having a couple of toddies. There's little Lynn. She brought her bubble horse with her. We did have a fireplace. Oh, that's, is that down in Dallas? Yeah, that was back in Dallas. I don't know how that got in there. Hmm. Maybe there was a fireplace. I just don't remember it. Yeah, maybe in the basement. I maybe. If there wasn't one on the first floor. Yeah, because well, this is when we're out in the, Cape Cod, who right. visited that old village. There must have been one then. Yeah. Maybe Lisa remembers. Yeah. But when we hear from her, we'll see. Plymouth Rock. Had it blocked off so you couldn't get to it because too many people were chipping pieces off. Pretty soon the guy told us there won't be any Plymouth Rock anymore if we don't if we don't stop that. So it was kind of buried down in a hole. That guy might have been the guy dressed up like he's a pilgrim or something. Some kind of activity for the kids, I guess. They had people there, period, costume people running around doing things like it was a working village from 1620. It was an interesting place. Replica of a boat. I don't know if it's supposed to be the Mayflower or what. One of the tall ships. Kind of remind me of Ernest Shacklefield's boat that got stuck down in the Antarctic. First church in the New World from the English side. Had a bunch of them down down in the, the Central American part from from the Spanish. They beat us over here around 1540. I guess they were building churches. Coronado came along. This is Burial Hills where all of our pioneer fathers were born, <laughs> buried. William Bradford's grave. I think he was the first governor of something. Plymouth Colony. A little geyser or something in the cemetery, churchyard. From there we just roamed around the old village, reconstructed. Plymouth, I suppose. A lot of folks just wandering around, checking the old place out, talking to some of the reenactors. Pilgrim there running around with the song and act or something. Maybe he's working on building a new storehouse for grain for the winter. We didn't see Savaset. He's supposed to be showing him how to plant corn. A 
you're doing something over there, sawing or whatever. I guess he's talking to those kids, explaining things to them. Lisa by a fishnet. She kind of saunters away from there like she owns the whole place. Get much color on this thing. Carlotta's checking something out. Whatever that is. That's how they did their cooking, maybe. Comes Marlene to figure it out for. I don't know what that was, but it looked like I must have thought it was worth shooting. Maybe that's supposed to be one of the Indian troubles over there, I don't know. Now we're in the parking lot and airplane goes flying through there, kind of screws up the, the whole thing. <laughs> 